How's it going, folks? Just a few items of interest. Um, I did tell y'all that I would go over the chastity belt. Uh, it's not nice to fool Mother Nature. I also wrote in there. See, their world is about the goddess, the queen of heaven, the queen of the universe. That's the Catholic Church. Mary in the Catholic Church. It's Lucifer, who's the female transgendered version of Satan. And there was an old commercial back in the day. Let me see if I can find it. By the way, let's switch accounts. It's not nice to fool Mother Nature commercials. So you go back in the day. They were using margarine instead of butter, which of course, I guess it was, I don't know, chemicals. What exactly was margarine made of? Substitute for butter, vegetable oil, water, salt, emulsifiers, and some include milk. Margarine can be found in both sticks and tubs. It was super popular back in the day. And it would always end with, it's not nice to fool Mother Nature. Mother Nature. But it's not. It's not. But it's not. It's not. It's not nice to fool Mother Nature. Is it me or is she coming off like she's a witch? Look at that. Do you think they had a real witch actress? Because, I mean, aren't all actresses witches in Hollywood today? Most all of them have played a witch. You find food, you. Yes. It's not nice to fool Mother Nature. Yikes. And these were commercials when I was a little kid. So, Mother Nature is the queen of heaven, queen of the universe, Inanna, Gaia. Is Gaia Mother Nature? According to Wikipedia, in Greek mythology, Gaia, also spelled Gia, is the personification of the earth and one of the Greek primordial deities. They're all microcosms of Lucifer. And we've been over that. Y'all know that. Um, you know, Inanna, Lucifer, Venus, when you Google it and you can, you can cross it over and get the idea. Well... They don't want you destructing the earth. And in the end times during World War III and the waters will rise because the abyss is going to melt and they're gonna say it's global warming, but it's really just the abyss melting. The bottomless pit after Trump dies uh, or seemingly dies. And then we've got the, you know, of the deadly wound and which morphs into World War III, war, famine and death to one fourth of the earth. Mother nature, will seem to have be at her wit's end, right? Global warming, waters are rising, two billion people are dead. And of course, Trump comes to save the day. And right now you're being locked down. They are beating the world out of you. So you will not, and they're telling you that this coronavirus is a byproduct of global warming, along with this harsh weather. And that's, that's all they talk about. To its core, that's what it's all about. Coronavirus due to global warming. Coronavirus due to damage to the earth. Coronavirus and climate change. Harvard. As the planet heats up, animals big and small on the land and the sea are headed. This study found small increase in long-term exposure. PMF leads to large source like wind and solar decrease harmful air pollutants such as 
That's called spin doctoring. Why COVID-19 will end up harming the environment. COVID-19 lockdowns, a window, a window into the earth system. Repairing the earth once the pandemic is over. It's all about save the earth. I saw somebody wearing a t-shirt one time. It said, t-shirt, be kind to your mother, mother earth. Love your mother. That's their world. That's who runs this world. That's what they believe. Be kind to your mother. Be kind to your mother. That's what it's about. It's queen of heaven, queen of the universe. In the Old Testament, that's what they study. I mean, that's what they worship. The queen of heaven queen of the universe. I unfriended a guy that I've known forever because <laughs> he said, this, this, these lockdowns are actually good because we're not out there damaging the earth. I was like, that's it, we're done. I don't care if I ever speak to him again as long as I live. We're great friends, I've known him forever. So that's what all this is. So a chastity belt. That's what chastity belts were. Male, female. Female chastity belt. Well, sorry for the Guess it's just gonna be vulgar, huh? But back in the day, they had them back in the olden days. Chastity belts of olden days. When you chasten something, you lock it down. God locks us down. He beats the world out of us. Now, this is the process of how the Lord gets you. To this point. Not only does he say, you have not chosen me, but I've chosen you. When? At the foundation of the world. John 3.16 is falsely translated. If the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. But if you are of this world, the world was love its own. But because you are not of this world, because I have chosen you out of the world. That's the whole salvation right there. You're being chosen and you do come out of the world. And the world will hate you. A peculiar people, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. A peculiar people, a chosen generation, a royal priesthood. You're a chosen generation, you're a royal priesthood, and holy nation. A you'll, you'll be, you're a peculiar people. You will be seen as weird. But how does the Lord get you to this state? For whom the Lord loveth, those that he knew at the foundation of the world, he chasteneth. And scourgeth. Everyone, if you endure this chastening, God's dealing with you as a son, because all fathers chasten their sons. They love their sons. They chasten them down. They teach them properly how to be good sons. But if you're without this lockdown, or all of God's sheep are partakers, then ye are bastards and not sons. That's the lockdown that God puts you on. 
God puts you on lockdown. <clears throat> and Satan is a mimic of everything that God does. And of course, God's ordained all that. So God has Satan do his thing. And before God comes and destroys the earth, like they said in Batman, some people just want to watch the world burn. They were talking about the Joker. They were talking about God. All the Batman villains are characteristics of God. But Bane, of course, and we're going to get into that. We'll get into that later. It's in my notes. So this locking down is part of the ritual. It's part of the process. Once that began, the, the, the Antichrist is receiving his crown. And they are turning this world to Satan and to Lucifer. First comes the chastening process. And you know what I love about this? It's 1268. What if Trump was to go down 126 and rise again on the 8th? We're going to add that. So that puts um, December 6th at, it, at an even greater high alert day. It's when the 1260 days began. which would put I thought I had that in here. We'll get to him later. If he doesn't die in 2020, we'll get to the 2021 dates. Um So Hebrews 12, 6 through 8 is the lockdown, but then when is the beating? It's World War III, war, famine, death to one-fourth of the earth. If you endure it, then you get to take the mark. Because God will send all goats a strong delusion that they will believe a lie. And Satan will be ordaining all of his goats with the mark that they will all want. But he has to get you prepared first, spiritually, satanically, demonically, before you will then upload the fallen ones into your body and they will use your body as an avatar. And that's who gets eternal torment day and night forever and ever. That's what the lockdowns are about. That's what it's all about. All right, before we go to, we'll do comments and we will get into some items I've got saved in prep. We've eliminated all the dates now. Today is the undoing and it's called the bloody truth, I believe. Episode six of The Undoing, The Bloody Truth. Here's some information about episode six. 
Haley challenges her own ethics in her defense strategy. As the courtroom theater mounts, Grace takes measures to protect herself and her family. Her son. When this world begins its undoing, that's when you begin World War III. Or really it began last March, didn't it? With the lockdowns, but you get the idea. That's right, we already were in here. That's what we got the chastity belt from. Bane to Trump's theory. Well, you know how Trump mimics Bane Donald Trump giving power back to you, the people, feet Bane. It's Trump versus Bane, there it is. Let me guess, you're too busy to watch this ad. Uh, just like you were too busy. We are not mere. Notice the guy that imitates Trump was on the commercial. That's how artificial intelligence works. Merely transferring power. We're giving it back to you, the people. And giving it back to you, the people. The people. The people. We give it back to you. So they say the same things. He's wearing the mask. When billionaire from Gotham, like Trump is the billionaire from New York City. They're both fighting crime as Trump is fighting the deep state cabal and saving the children under the city and all that kind of stuff, just like Bruce Wayne's foundation kids when they outgrew the foundation, they joined Bain's group under the city. Everything's a mimic. But by Trump mimicking what Bain said, he's showing you that he's both. He is Batman, as we already know. But he's also running what we would call the liberal side. It's all for him. So I just wanted to never really made it put it in that point before scrolling tonight i noticed the voice the story of satan that's the image that speaks and of course satan is the image that speaks that is not by mistake remember the donald trump TV show Celebrity Apprentice would come on followed by The Voice. And I did an extensive video, one of, one of the best videos I ever did, or the Holy Spirit did, if you deem it good. It's in my AI as the Ghost in the Machine, Mark of the Beast series. So the third one down is called the image that speaks equals the voice. And I shared a Facebook post where I was like, good grief, I'm watching Celebrity Apprentice and there must have been 50 commercials for the voice. And then I realized when I saw that Facebook memory from, I don't know when it was, 20 whatever, 2010, 2011, I don't know when it was, 2013, I don't know when it was. I noticed it dawned on me, this is Trump's the Antichrist and the voices, it's the image that speaks, it's the voice, the image that speaks, the image that gives a voice. TV show, The Voice, it's just the voice. I did 57 minutes on that. 
It is really, 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 really good. Highly suggest you watch that. You should watch all four of these, at least the first three. That's not by accident. The ghost in the machine does everything. Tells them what to do, when to do it, blah, 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 blah. Clemson. Remember I told you the other night, Clemson, they had them on at 33%. And I'm like, well, they're always decked out in orange. Orange is 33 in Gematria. 33 is that big Illuminati number. Guess what Clemson came out in tonight? Clemson, Pittsburgh. Clemson won 52 to 17 yesterday against Pittsburgh. Clemson's Pittsburgh. Clemson, Pittsburgh, 2020. We're in their purple. They're purple and orange. Purple is the Illuminati's big color. Orange is the Illuminati's big color. That's why Clemson got all the money into their program. All the top coaches. Nobody transfers out. They all make gigantic salaries. They get the best players. He sat out with the illness so Notre Dame could win the game because, of course, Notre Dame gave us the four horses. The four horsemen. Notre Dame's famous four horsemen. According to Wikipedia. They're going to have a very specific four teams. I don't think we get to the playoffs. I think Trump goes down. We get our martial law. The playoffs are like, I don't know, January 12th or something. College football championship game 2021. 2021 college football playoff national championship will be on Monday, January 11th, 2021. I don't think we make it that far. They'll have their final four teams set. They will all represent Notre Dame, of course, the four horsemen. Clemson, of course, where they're purple and orange. The Crimson Tide representing the blood that will be shed when 2 billion people die in World War III. And the other one, Ohio State, the buck, Ohio State Buckeyes, literally spelled Buck. Ohio and State will be playing Michigan State on Saturday at noon at Spartan Stadium. What is a Buckeye, Ohio State? Here's a summary from Wikipedia. The Ohio State Buckeyes football team competes as part of the NCAA Division I Football Bowl subdivision, representing Ohio State University. What is a buckeye? According to Wikipedia, the tree species Asculus glabra is commonly known as Ohio buckeye, American buckeye, or fetid buckeye. The buck, the stag, the stag, the buck is the Antichrist, Donald Trump. Remember an IPEC goat too. You've got the, the stag. is right over him, right over him. See the stag horns, see Trump's hand signal, upside down pyramid, just like he has an upside down pyramid of six by six by six bushes at Trump Tower and he always sits with that upside down hand signal. See the stag horns that are over him when they cut to it, it's only for a split second. And then you see the stag on the wall. The eye, the Antichrist, of course. He's going to receive a wound in his right eye and his arm will go 
limp. Zechariah eleven seventeen, the idle shepherd. The sword shall be upon his arm and upon his right eye. The arm will be clean dried up and his right eye shall be utterly darkened. Buckeye, they are also going to be in the final four. They have their four teams selected. Notre Dame, Alabama, Clemson, and Ohio State. The Buckeye, the Stag Eye. What is a stag horn? That's the little horn of Daniel 7. as the buck, as the horn, because the antlers regenerate. They're all about regeneration. That's what the antichrist is going to do. He's going to go to the bottomless pit spiritually, and he's going to rise. He's going to have the spirit of Satan indwelt in him. Staghorn. The antler of a stag used to make handles for knives and walking sticks. Interesting. Um... So that was everything. Let's go to your comments. I need to save that. I'll put all those in the comments just so sometimes it helps not get a copyright strike. We'll be watching. Nothing happened. Thank you. Um, and Marcus products. All right, so we're done with comments. All right, folks. So will something go down on Sunday that begins the undoing? Does something happen to Biden? Does, some, does, does Trump's big event day? I mean, something could happen to Trump tomorrow and he might not die. Or something could happen to Trump Sunday, Monday, whenever. But on December 6th begins the chastening and scourging process in earnest. We shall see. Uh, Monday, yes, it's Pearl Harbor Day, but this month is huge, huge on the 14th and 21st, you get the solar eclipse that sits on the exact day between the other two solar eclipses that cross the United States, forming an X across the United States. Then you've got the 21st, the winter solstice, that has a conjunction of Jupiter and Saturn. Well, what's in succession of that? Seven. 14, 21, because when you get to 28, whoop, I mean, 29, you get the cold full moon. That's probably in first place for when I think Trump would go down because it's at 10, 28 PM. It does seem to indicate an iPad goat that the antichrist does go down with the right eye wound on a full moon. We got a full moon in Gemini on Monday. But the last tower went down at 1028 a.m. and the moon goes full at 1028 p.m. on December 29th. It is a full moon in Cancer. Cancer is ruled by the moon and Trump is, of course, the moon child. We've been over that plenty of times. He was born under a lunar eclipse. And Alistair Crowley referred to him as the moon child. So that's it. Love y'all very much.